Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I am doing my video in a different location today, just trying to find a, a quiet spot to do this. I want to do a what's in my bag on the lug carousel. This is the new carousel in the pattern Hydrangea Navy. This was a Christmas present and I absolutely love this bag and I love the pattern. I have wanted to buy this bag since it came out. I just hesitated because I had a carousel. I believe it was the carousel three last year and I didn't get the pattern placement that I wanted and I did something kind of uncharacteristic for me in which I ordered like I ordered the same bag like three times to try to get that ideal pattern placement and I couldn't get it so I just sent it back and gave up on getting the carousel three because I wanted it in that specific pattern and so I haven't had a carousel since but this is the new version there are a couple updates to this versus some of the other iterations of the carousel so I thought I would just do a what's in my bag I've been using this so I got it Christmas Eve I think and I've been using it ever since. So I love this bag. This is a really good size, a little bit smaller than the Mini Ranger. I did pull the Mini Ranger out so I can do a quick size comparison. It is about the same, I think it's the same width. And the Mini Ranger obviously is taller and has a top handle. And the Mini Ranger is going to have a lot more depth. So you can absolutely fit more in the Mini Ranger. I don't carry very much, so this is a really good size for just just about everything I carry. I can fit a few extras in this bag because of that extra depth and the height, but this is honestly perfect for me for every day, and it's really nice getting down to an even smaller bag because it just makes life a little bit easier to not carry like my whole life with me. But I did bring a bag in which I can carry my whole life with me, and this is also new to me. This is the Lug Compass. And I thought I would also do a comparison here. The, again, the width is about the same. Obviously, the compass is much taller. And because of the added pockets on the front, it's got a lot more space and depth and things like that. Again, it has a top handle as well. I love this bag. This is actually actually my extras bag. I usually carry like a secondary bag with, you know, extra stuff in it. And so that's what this bag is. I do, I did get a couple requests to do a video on this when I posted this to my Instagram story. So I do want to do a video on that very soon. It's already all packed up. But I just wanted to show you what my everyday bag is looking like. I can't remember if I said this already, but this is in the pattern Hydrangea Navy. And I love this pattern. It is so vibrant and beautiful. You've got a navy base and then you've got all these pops of blues and teals, really warm, rich pinks and even oranges and purples. I think it's such a beautifully balanced, lovely pattern. And I don't think Hydrangea Navy came out in very much. I have a key fob in here that my friend sent me. I've been using that for a while. So it was kind of funny that I got this bag for Christmas because it matches my key fob that I've been using. And again, I already love this print. And then I think it came in a couple other like things like the splits wallet, maybe the uh, trolley. Just a few things. I wish it would come out with more because it's gorgeous. So I absolutely love this bag. So we're just going to jump into this right away. Going to uh, pan the camera down. And I apologize ahead of time for the lighting. It's just not the most ideal um, lighting for a video per se. But it's kind of what I'm working with right now. So I'm going to, you know, do the best I can. I apologize for the the... Lots of camera movements here. I promise it's gonna calm down once I get the set. Okay, I think that's right where I want it. So, okay, time for the review and what's in my bag. I will do a try on at the end. So you have this lovely buckle detailing on the front of the carousel. That's kind of lets you know what style bag this is. Um, I don't have a carousel XL with me to show you. I apologize for that. It is much taller than this. It's it's basically the same size as the Mini Ranger almost. I think the carousel might be a little taller and have less depth than the Mini Ranger, but it's about the same size. So hopefully that can give you a good indication of what the carousel XL looks like. This is the regular size. I did get a question about that on my Instagram. This is the regular size carousel and I will leave dimensions in the description box. So you have that detailing, you have the basket weave quilting. I actually don't like this quilt style, 
but I feel like the pattern is so vibrant and, you know, has enough busyness that I don't really, you know, pay attention to the quilt style as much. I, I won't say I hate it, it's just my least favorite, I think, out of all the quilt styles that Lug uses. So with this front pocket, you do get a double zipper, and they are the smaller gunmetal zipper pulls. So for example, the larger ones look like this. And these are the smaller versions here. So they gave you a double zip entry because there is a built-in wallet. And I'm trying to be very gentle because I don't want to shake the table too much for you guys here. It's very unstable for some reason. Um, but you do have a built-in wallet there. So you have a money slip pocket up here and then you have six card slots. And they are RFID protected. As a matter of fact, I believe this whole compartment is RFID protected in case you want to throw a little wallet in here, like a Metro or a Vera Bradley Zip ID or something like that. I don't use built-in wallets. I'm actually glad that this built-in wallet is pretty low-key and I can ignore it because I'm never going to use it. But in this bottom part of the main compartment, I do have my keys. So these are my set, to, set of keys. And yes, there is the Hydrangea Navy key fob. I love it. It's so soft and it's really easy to keep track of my keys with that on there. And then I have my partner's set of keys also at the bottom. So those both tuck perfectly away at the bottom of the bag. And then we do have a soft line cargo pocket back here. It is soft lined on the front part only. So I do have my sunglasses in there. So you can see what those look like. And I have the uh, lens part facing the soft line there. And I also have a little chapstick kind of tucked into that pocket. So that fits in there perfectly. And that is all I will carry in that pocket, even though it's got like a little bit of a, uh, a gusset to it and I feel like it could possibly fit a little bit more. I think that's the perfect amount of stuff and minimal bulk. So I really like that. And there's another good look at the depth of the whole carousel in and of itself. So another change that we get to this carousel versus some of the other older iterations is that instead of a zipper pocket here, you have a pull tab designated cell phone pocket. You do have the hidden magnet there and it is the soft line material. There is my iPhone 13 mini in there and you can see you have plenty of room for your larger smartphones if you have a phone that is larger than mine. And my phone fits perfectly in there, slides in and out with ease. So let's go to the back of the bag. This is a bag that you can transform into a belt bag. Now even though this is a smaller bag, I will not be using it for that purpose. Belt bags are just not my thing. And if I were to use a belt bag, it would be the Lug Coupe because it is smaller than this and it's a lot, uh, has a lot less depth. So I feel like it wouldn't stick out on the hip. However, a lot of people love this style as a belt bag and I can see why because you can get a lot of stuff in here with it still being a reasonable size to carry on the body like that. But they also gave you a zipper pocket, so I'm really glad that you didn't lose out on a pocket just because you have these two belt bag um, loops here. And basically the premise is, you know, you can remove the strap and loop the strap through here and then loop it around your body. Or you can even use your own belt and just put this around your belt, whatever you want to do. But I believe if you do use this bag, belt bag, it's either really hard or actually impossible to use the zipper pocket. I Again, I haven't, I don't use it that way, so I'm not sure. But I am using the zipper pocket. And I have a few things back here, such as a pack of gum and a about half of a pack of tissues. And I think... That is all I have in that pocket. You know, I like to put thin things back here because this is a very padded pocket. Um, and so I just get just what I need into that pocket there. And there you can kind of see the depth. It's got a little bit of push to it, but I think it's also because there are um, slip pockets inside of the back wall here that kind of share space with this. Same deal with these pockets like this has its own gusset, but the foam pocket kind of shares space with the um, clear view pocket on the inside. 
Speaking of the inside, let's go ahead and jump in. You do have a one zipper entry for this and they do, the zipper does come down the side a little bit. That way you can get a wide opening. And I think the one zipper for this bag is fine because again, it's very small, um, very smooth, opens with ease. And I have to say, I am very pleased with this bag. I got just what I needed in here and I kind of love it that yes, I can throw a couple little extra things in here, but I'm not gonna load it down and make it extremely heavy with a ton of stuff because really it's a small bag. So you're not gonna be able to, you know, throw a ton of extras in here, just what you need. And I love that about this bag. And you know, if I do need a bigger bag, guess what? I'm gonna roll into the Mini Ranger. And if I need an even bigger bag, you guessed it, I have the carousel or even the Ranger, the regular size Ranger that I can move into. This is perfect for me for every day though. I've got just what I need. So you see on the back there, it says Lug Carousel. I love that Lug gives you the branding tag, but also tells you what the name of the bag is. It doesn't tell you what iteration of the bag that you have, but at least you know you have the carousel. I really love this interior pattern, by the way. So it's like a white background, and then you've got all these pretty colored dots like blush pink, you got like ocean blue, emerald teal, and conquered purple colored dots in there, which I think are really, really pretty. This interior is so bright and happy. I mean, the lighting is terrible today, but you can see everything inside my bag with ease because of the this lovely light interior helping to complement the inside of the bag. So if we flip it around, to this side, and actually let's start taking stuff out of the main compartment so that way you can see the pockets a lot better. So in the main compartment, I have my lug round trip pouch. This is the small, and this is in the pattern Dragonfly Purple. I showed it in my last video uh, briefly in like a little haul at the end. I got this from a dear friend and I absolutely love these pouches and this pattern. And so this is my little catch-all pouch. I have my allergy pills, my Excedrin and Advil in there. You can see it says lug round trip on the back side and you've got that dotted lining inside. I also have a pair of scissors, a nail file and some nail clippers. So that is the perfect little catch all pouch. Next I have my wallet. This is the Vera Bradley zip ID. It's the regular zip ID in the pattern Fruit Grove. I switched into this days ago before I was even, I even knew I was getting this bag. And it's just a perfect match. I love these berry colors within the cherry and strawberry and watermelon. I think it goes really great with that berry pink that's within the hydrangeas in Hydrangea Navy. And I love the Zip ID. I always say this, I feel like, but this is one of my favorite Zip IDs that I have. Uh, Fruit Grove is just a pretty happy pattern. You've got a true dark classic navy background color there and then you've got beautiful teals and chartreuses and pinks and purples and berries kind of popping out within the fruit and the flowers. I absolutely love it. And here's the front. I have a picture of my Rocky boy when we went to the beach earlier this year and that just it makes me happy every time I have to pull out my wallet even if I'm paying a bill that I I hate uh, to pay. I'm still happy because I get to look at that beautiful picture and it brings back really great memories. So that is my wallet. And so now that we got a little more out of there, let's take a look again at the interior of the bag. So I also have my AirPods down there. Again, very happy uh, colors here going on, which is just lots of fun. And I also have my Vines floral pouch. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I talk about it every video. But this is just a nice, thin, water-resistant pouch by Vera Bradley. It comes in a trio called Pencil Pouch Trio. This is the small. And it's just got feminine products, my vaccination card, band-aids, and a few other little catch-all items that um, are not in this catch-all pouch. So that is what's in there. Now that we've got the main interior cleared out, there you can get an idea of the depth at the bottom. You'll also see another addition to this new carousel, which is the bungee key clip. I don't believe the previous carousels had, at least the small ones, had this feature. Um, this is pretty much useless for me because I don't want to keep my keys in the main interior. I think they just take up too much space. And yeah, I guess I could take whatever is in the main interior and put it in here in place of my keys, but it's going to be too tight with the sunglasses and everything. The 
keys are perfect and easy to get in and out in this double zip front pocket. So this is just chilling at the bottom. Um, I even thought very briefly about cutting it out, but I talked myself out of it because in case I'm carrying like a different combo of stuff, I can always clip my keys to the key leash and just put it, the keys in the pocket there. Um, so I'm keeping that. I mean, that'd be kind of silly, I guess, if I cut that out. But in the two back cargo pockets, there are two pockets and neither are soft lined. I have my lotion and pepper spray in one. And then in this other pocket, I have my mask and my hand sanitizer back there. So that's what that looks like. I love that these are two instead of one big pocket. I can't stand when it's one big pocket. The only exception, this is where I actually like the one big pocket. If we jump into the mini ranger real quick, because this fits my Vines floral pouch horizontally perfect, perfectly in that back pocket. So I don't mind that one. But I have a couple other lug bags that have that one giant cargo pocket and stuff always gets stuck. And like when I'm pulling stuff in and out, it always gets stuck because that pocket just hangs freely. Whereas if you have the two cargo pockets, they're nice and tight to the, the back wall of the bag. They're not hanging open as you see here. So I love, love, love that. Let's flip to the front wall of the inside and you'll see that you have a giant clear view pocket. And that is perfect for my wet wipes. They fit perfectly in there. They tend to leak a little bit. So I feel like it's really nice to have a nice wipeable pocket that they can live inside of. And even though that's right up against the phone pocket, it's still pretty easy to get my phone in and out of the phone pocket. So that is what is in my carousel in Hydrangea Navy. I love this bag so much. Love this bag. I, you know, I might switch out of it eventually for fun, but right now I'm just enjoying it. I love just carrying what I need, you know, not carrying too much, not carrying too little. I didn't have to make um, extreme sacrifices to carry this bag or anything like that. I, um, I think I did switch out a couple things and leave a couple things behind, but nothing that I'm missing. I got everything in here that I would possibly need. And it's just a wonderful size. Zippers are smooth. Colors are happy. Great organization. And I watched a million QVC videos on this bag because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> even after I've gotten a bag, I'll still watch a million QVC videos. And I guess this is Lug's most popular and best-selling crossbody bag. So that's kind of fun. And if you're looking for this pattern, this is actually still available on QVC. I didn't check the Lug website, so I don't know if this exact bag with pattern is still available on there. But if you want to shop QVC, this is still on there. Okay, so please excuse me because I'm going to be shaking the camera a little bit because I will be panning this up. Because I'll do a quick try on here. That's like so, it's so hard to pan up. I always struggle. Okay, just so you can get an idea of what the bag looks like on the body. And by the way, this is Lug's regular, I think it's their one inch strap, just the normal uh, strap. It's not the super thick one. Okay, so this is what it looks like on me. I like wearing it a little bit below my hip there. It's very comfortable. Again, it's a really, really good size really easy to access the pockets get to what you need to great to get to the phone and then if i need my wallet very easy to just look in there grab a wallet put it back and zipper up and go i like that it doesn't stick out and i have hips that stick out already on their own a little bit and even though this has a little bit of depth on it it doesn't stick out a ton and it's just extremely lightweight we ran a lot of errands yesterday and this was the bag that I took and it was so comfortable. It didn't give me any shoulder pain. It didn't roll around a ton. It was just really, really convenient and I understand completely why this is Lug's best selling crossbody bag. It's just, it does everything without doing too much and doing too little. Really great. So that is my uh, what's in my bag review and try on of the Lug Carousel and Hydrangea Navy. I hope this helped anyone who's interested or just wanted to watch the video for fun. Um, hopefully I'll be back with more videos and I have a really um, 
really good idea for a Vera video um, coming up. I just have to wait for, I haven't buy, been buying very much, um, really any brand. I haven't been buying very much lately at least. And I especially haven't been buying very much Vera because I don't live near a Vera store anymore. So there's no temptation for me to really buy online. Um, plus there's not very much that I'm looking for or that I want right now. And I just haven't been buying really any Vera. But I did find two really cool pieces that honestly I've been wanting for a while. And the fact that I found them on a third party site is kind of mind blowing for me. So I have a cool idea for a video once those two pieces come in. And so I, I re just recently bought these pieces. And so those will be coming in the mail hopefully soon within the next couple of weeks. And I will do a Vera video on that. Because I understand I haven't really done a video with Vera in a while. So that will be coming soon. But in the meantime, there might be a lot of lug. <laughs> a lot of lug videos in the meantime. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.